Yes. This is for the season. <laughs> Are you practicing for stunt school? Timmy, what's your favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Christmas 2023. We're prepping in the kitchen for the onslaught of our misfit friends, which we call them, uh, also AKA the orphans, um, sort of like we are, because we are alone here on the West Coast for the most part. All the rest of our family is in the Midwest, and so we figured there's a lot of other people, or we know there's a lot of other people that are like us that have no family um, out here on the West Coast, so we invite a whole bunch of people over and uh, celebrate Christmas together. And so right now, I am making my mother's recipe, Swedish meatballs. Here comes Timothy. Hey John, Mr. Hanson, me check this is in and we had to go in the BSS with Tobasa Park 1. Since we're yep. on Tobasa Park, the two of the toys in. Tobasa yep. Park 1's on here. Okay. So we had to go over, I'm so sorry. No, I'm, I'm keeping the VHS. <laughs> That's my, you gave it to me, it's mine. Poopy butt. Never mind, you can keep it. So right now, this is about as far as I've gotten on the Swedish meatballs, my mother's recipe that she gave me. And so here we are right now, this is what we got. An onion, we've got, so I use three teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a cup and a half, a cup and a quarter of ketchup, and two eggs. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. I might need to add a third egg, but we're just gonna try it out and see what happens. So now, the last bit of ingredient is some black pepper. I'm not really sure how much to add here, so we're just going to uh, wing it. I like a little bit more black pepper than normal, so hopefully it's not too much. Salt. I don't want to get too loud on salt. So I'm going to use this sourdough, and I'm going to crumble it up and throw it in here. There's two smaller pieces. Hopefully that'll be enough. All right. Breadcrumbs. All done. I'm gonna pull the meat out. Hey bud, are you back again? This is a ground beef and pork blend. That's perfect for what I wanna do. Just slap that on there. Like that. Look at all this meat right here. Ah, nom, 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 nom. So now we're gonna mix all this in together. I made the decision. I'm gonna add a, another like quarter cup of ketchup. And a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Boo boo boo, well, maybe that's probably too much. <clears throat> and one more egg. I think that'll cover it. I think that'll be enough. All right, let's do the monster mash. Okay, so the mix is done. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, make the balls later, put them in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. Okay. I don't want to be. I just don't want to eat all that oil. It's like clogging up my arteries. So if I were making it for me, I would not be adding the oil in the egg. What are egg. you making? I'm going to be making cornbread, and this year it's going to turn out because okay. this is a fresh new box. Cut, cut to last year. Because, oops. <laughs> okay, my cornbread was an epic fail. I don't mind admitting that. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it did not rise at all. It's just like skinny, cracked, and stuck to the pan. 
<laughs> All right, we got some salad. Some, you know, it's gonna be, it's vegetables gonna be that are <clears throat> mediocre looking right now. And some gooey gooey gravy. There's a potatoes boiling, some leeks on the stove. These beets over here, what are those? Yeah, I decided to make a beet salad instead of a traditional okay. salad. In here we got a ham. Oh boy, mm. it's hot. <clears throat> so we got all kinds of kinds of meats here. There's going to be, <clears throat> you saw me working on the Swedish meatballs earlier. And then also and last night I made a sweet potato mash. I also made, uh, <laughs> last night overnight I made some pot roast. Mississippi pot roast. Mississippi pot roast. And let me just tell you, it's delicious. You bites earlier. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. I'm gonna get started making pancakes for everyone. We had Char stay over. Yeah. We were all in his new outfit, playing with his new Spider-Man thing. So, for those of you who are gluten-free, I don't know if you know this trick. You can take just regular oatmeal and blend it up in a blender or you could even use like a coffee grinder to blend it into a fine powder and then you make your own flour by doing that. And then you don't have to use wheat flour. Whoa. Before. I didn't measure because I never do, but with this much flour, it, it, this is like twice the amount I think I normally make. So normally I'm adding one banana and some almond milk. The banana gives it sweetness and holds it together. You can add a little cinnamon too. But um, I think I'll have to add a banana and a half or two bananas because I made half a blender full of um, the flour, the oat flour. Pro tip, make sure the bananas are ripe. You want them spotty, you want them sweet. It's a really big one, so I'm gonna try with just one first. I'm using almond milk, and you'll kind of know how much milk to add just based on how thick or thin you want the pancakes. Some people like them thicker, some like them thinner. Typically when I'm measuring stuff, it's probably about two cups of flour with one cup of almond milk and one banana, but you'll have to play with it. I added a little cinnamon and a small bit of sugar. I don't, I've never added sugar before. I don't know why I did. I guess I just want something sweet, but note, do not use, do not try to do this in a regular blender. It's probably not powerful enough. This is a Vitamix. It can pretty much blend up anything. So you might just wanna, um, when you're mixing the milk and the banana with the powdered stuff, you might wanna just use a mixing bowl and a whisk or use, um, what are those battery powered mixers? That would work too. I just threw in a bunch of blueberries. I've never tried to do it with blueberries, so we're gonna see. It's a little messy, but you get the idea here. Now, I don't think anyone would ever have me on a cooking show, because I'm not that good, but I, I think you're turning out not bad. I'll lift one of these up, you can see the blueberries on it. Made some um, vegetarian, I don't know if these are vegetarian or vegan breakfast patties. Um, the kids love these and so does Rob, so that'll go with the pancakes. We're about to have these steaming blueberry pancakes and vegetarian breakfast patties. I think we're starting a new tradition where we're going to be eating Christmas breakfast while watching what we did on last year's Christmas. That's a year ago. I know, looks like the same day, doesn't it? I'm going to try to turn my studio into a place suitable to have dinner because I think we have too many people for our living room. What's everyone working on in here? The raptor face. Oh. Timmy, what are you looking at? Games.
We did it. We put the car together. We figured it out. Oh, now we got to put, oh, the pterodactyl's last part of his beak. Ah, 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 he's going to get Owen. Owen's going to capture him in his, whoa, he caught him. He caught him. Let's bring him in, Eli. Let's bring him in. Oh, we can feed the fish to the pterodactyl. Mom, 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 mom. That's a good combo. Don't let her get eaten, though. Okay, this is an unboxing. I'm so excited. So, I've been using these Young Living essential oils, and I think they're awesome. And research has shown that they make a difference in even helping get rid of, like, traumatic memory memories and stuff trapped in your cells. Anyway, I've been using Abundance, Lavender, Clarity, when I'm like, what do I do? Stress Away, some good blends. And I just decided, you know, I keep spending all this money on this oil and it's really doing good stuff for me. Like feeling good, calming. So I actually signed up to become a distributor with Young Living Essential Oils. And so I got this box. Let's see what's in it. Seed to seal, quality. You know, their oils are kosher and they're prayed over from the seed all the way to the... Oh, okay, so I got a little box. Okay, this is the plug. It looks like I got another diffuser. I have one diffuser, but you know, I've been having to move it from room to room. Okay, this is uh, getting started with essential oils. So I'll have to read this book and figure out all that stuff. Over 25 years of quality commitment from our fields to yours. So this is probably my oils. I can't wait to see which ones I got. And this is the diffuser I picked. Um, they have many different kinds. Oh, oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is much higher quality than the one I'm using at home. Isn't that nice? Okay, let's get into the actual oils I got. This is the best part. Okay, it's not a slogan, it's our calling. Quality commitment. How do we open? Oh, is this how we open it? Oh, it's like a little book. Ooh, ah, okay. Oh, peppermint, purification, valor. Valor is a great one if you want, if you're feeling like you need to be bold, like if you're getting scared or timid. Valor helps you be bold. It's one that helps strengthen you. I've got to learn what all of these do. I've got thieves. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the story of thieves. This is a great cleaning, disinfectant, sanitizing. Thieves actually helps get rid of COVID. It's proven to kill COVID cells. Most of the oils are antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal. Um, I've got one called Panaway. I've got Ar Aroma Ease Cedarwood. Oh, I have another lavender. It's a little one. I had a big one already. Lemon and Citrus Fresh. Oh, these, these are great. Well, I'm excited to try these out. You playing with your new car? Yeah. Looks great. We're getting some stuff ready in the kitchen. I'm making sweet potato stuff and making the salads. Char's got the crock pots going and we're gonna fill those with veggies and soon some other good stuff. All right, I'm going to be putting some bay leaves in the pot. That's um, for my potato leek soup. I got the sweet potatoes going, the beets going for the salad, Rob made gravy, Char's chopping the salad, and Eli wants to play more Legos. We've got the memorial going for our dear friend Tim who would normally be with us for Christmas our dear friend Darlene, and our dear friend Jim. Um, we honored them last year with candles, but we didn't have the pictures of a couple of them printed out, so this year we will be remembering them. 
We never know when it's our last breath. What you working on right now? Paper towels. No, <laughs> I've got this ham over here. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna dab it off and then I'm, not, I'm you know, kind of conflicted on it. I might just keep it straight up. I was thinking of like basing it with mustard and some brown sugar. Hmm. Uh, but I think I'm gonna cook it for a little bit first just with salt and pepper on it. And we'll call it a moment and then baste it with something else. Okay. Not sure yet. We're having a little lunch break. Well, we've got char chopping leeks over here for potato leek soup and I just made some applesauce for my lunch. If you, have, if you don't have a big blender, just one of these little Nutribullets are great for making like salad dressings or a quick, like chunky applesauce. What kind of shenanigans are going on here? You just think you can, that's the Christmas butt dance or something? You're so kooky. You got your mouth full of building block Lego gummies. Okay, I did not fail this year on the cornbread. Take a look. It looks good. Take a look at my meatballs. Oh my gosh. Rob wants us to see his meatballs. Yeah, let's look see. Look at it. these guys. Wow. <laughs> these are huge balls. Look at these huge balls. Those are huge oh, meat. meatballs from the Swedish variety. Swedish meatballs. Oh, yeah. yeah, don't you know? He's got the Swedish meatballs. I finally got the sweet potato mash done. You can look at last year's video if you want the recipe. Next, I'm doing the garlic um, mashed potatoes. Shar is making space Perfect. for us by yes. getting the second load of dishes going. Yes. Perfect amount of meatballs. Wow. wow, it's like you had planned it. I know, but I didn't. But you didn't, because you had extra meat. I had to rope Amy into helping in the kitchen. Hey, <laughs> who is that? Hector. Yes. What is your favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Jesus. <laughs> it's yeah? always my favorite part. Okay. The birth of Jesus is so special, you know? That's why we're all on this earth, to celebrate him. Michelle, what's your favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Breaking out of my comfort zone and coming here. Yes. I know you wanted to sit home. We grabbed you out of that dark hole. <laughs> and, and, and Kimberly, what's your favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Well, it's working Christmas retail, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah you know, without <laughs> a doubt, I live for that, especially the closer we get to the holiday. But did you have any nasty customers? Not at all. Actually, they were, they, they were weird, but lovely. Yeah, yeah, so, no, it's fine. But I like the food, too, along with all the, you know, loving Jesus stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, what's your favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Presents. Presents. Yeah. You got one and you're wearing one. You're yeah. holding a present and you're wearing a present. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> James, what's your favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Well, the people. The people. Sometimes you don't get to see people around too many times, except for during holidays and things like mm -hmm. that. So it's one of the greatest things to be able to spend time with people we haven't seen in a while and get caught up and, um, you know, maybe even tell the truth of what happened that year or uh, or not, make it up, you know. You know, make it more exciting or, or less exciting. That's an in, that's interesting concept. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Time. What's your yeah. favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Uh, the snow we don't have. The snow. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite thing. Maybe, I'm yeah. on board with the, that. The idea of snow is, is enough for me. It's like it's nice to see it on the TV. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. That's like just that and some ice on your wrist. That, I mean, that's that's the closest experience you'll have. So <laughs> it suffices for now. Good one. What's your favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Being here with you. Aww. <laughs> it's the Mississippi roast beef. But just don't go ham on that because there is ham too. Um, and the ham is very good, but the Mississippi roast beef is like the bomb. And I know the guy who made it, he's a pretty good guy. So You've become anyway. completely red making it. I'm just like, yeah. Anyway, so he's here yet, but I wanted to at least say a prayer, bless the food, and just, um, so Lord, we, we thank you for this year. 2022 
whatever it was to each of us. Thank you that it's now over and thank you that whatever progress we've made spiritually, physically in this realm, we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, for the gathering of each individual that is here today. We pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every person here. We thank you for our friends that we lost over the last couple of years, Jim, Darlene, and Tim. Mm. <clears throat> May they be with us here in spirit today. Mm. Bless this food in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 All right, potato lake uh, soup, uh, corn on the cob, garlic mashed potatoes, cornbread, salad, vegetables, sweet potatoes, gravy, mm -hmm. green bean casserole. Yeah, I had this in a little too long. Okay. Ham, rolls, ham, baked beans, sweet, uh, sweet peas balls, and Mississippi, Mississippi pot roast. All right, Ooh, dude, you made it. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Christmas. Uh, Roy, what's your favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Oh, the decorations, being with friends and family, the music. Awesome. Sit over here and eat some food. Yeah. Are you really? Thank you, really good. Did you already eat time? Sure did. Oh, you're fast. Timmy, would you like uh, garlic mashed potatoes and a bun? Okay. I'm going to try to not make the East Coast people mad by saying this, but I had the tables and chairs and everything set up inside the house, but it's too hot out in the house to sit. So we had to take our Christmas dinner outside. There's no show, snow to shovel, of course. Um, it's weather where you can be sleeveless and it's Christmas day. It must be like 75 degrees out, I'm not sure. What do you most love about celebrating Christmas? Being able to see all my friends and being able to look over the year and say, yeah, I did it. <laughs> We're out here. Outside Christmas evening, singing Christmas carols. <laughs> what is this? What is it? What you keep falling down for? Are you practicing for stunt school? You want to put some shoes on? Bernard, what's your favorite part about celebrating Christmas? Jesus. Yes. The reason for the season. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> Get some food. Get some food. <laughs> We're playing apples to apples here, whereas the outside people are singing. Singing. Oh, yes, yes. Read them out for all of them. Okay, oh, that's oh, right. Oh, 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 okay, watermelon, wedding. Please, Charmy. Please, Charmy. Snowflakes. Anybody know, know what this is? Uh, it's, it's, your, it's your this is your finger. finger. It's like this being a any excuse, any excuse, Roy. Is this going to be a tradition now every Christmas? Makes sense is getting mail. Yes. Hey, that's true. Thank, Thank you very you much. Mail. Sheila has just won the game. Yeah. Sheila, where's your where's your party dance? Where's Free your party trial. dance?
Ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for having me. I had a wonderful time. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for coming. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye, Kevin. Good night. Good night. My feelings have been uptight, but I want to thank you for a glorious night. <laughs> Aww, Merry Christmas, Sheila.